A lighthouse keeper at the top of a 100-foot lighthouse observes a boat leave a dock directly below her and head out to sea. When the boat is 600 feet from the dock, it is traveling at a rate of 20 feet per second. At this instant, how fast is the boat moving away from the lighthouse keeper to the nearest hundredth? This is an example of a problem that is a related rate. And I'm going to set this problem up by drawing a diagram that includes a lighthouse with the lighthouse keeper represented with uh, this dot and the boat being represented by this dot. The situation, if I had a dotted line connecting those two points, can be represented with a right triangle. I'll call the sides to this right triangle A, B, and C. And the lengths of the sides in this triangle are all given, either directly or indirectly, in the problem. It says that the lighthouse keeper is at the top of a 100-foot lighthouse, which means side A is 100. And it also says that at the instant that we're concerned with, the boat is 600 feet from the dock. Side C isn't specifically given, but using the Pythagorean theorem, it's easy to identify the value of C. Value of C is exactly 100 times the square root of 37. Now to answer this question, which deals with the rate at which the boat is moving away from the lighthouse keeper, we have to discuss the rate of change of each side of this right triangle as time passes. We've actually been told that the rate of change of side B is 600, uh, I'm sorry, 220 feet per second. And that's the only information we've given, been given about rates of change. We've been given specifically that A is 100, We've been given specifically that B is 600, and indirectly we were told that C is 100 times the square root of 37. But the only rate that we've been given, the change in side B with respect to time, how much side B is changing, the rate at which side B is changing with respect to time, that's 20 feet per second. Let's talk about side A and how side A is changing with respect to time. Side A, as time passes, the lighthouse is always 100 feet high. The length of side A is not changing as time passes. Side C is changing. And the rate of change of side C is the rate at which this boat is moving away from the lighthouse keeper herself. Side C's rate is what rate of change is what we're trying to find. Recall that in my diagram, I have the lighthouse keeper at the top of a right triangle. I have the boat moving away from a dock at a rate of 20 feet per second. And we've represented all of those values, A being 100, B being 600, and C being 100 times the square root of 37, as sides of a right triangle. We've also discussed how the rate of change of side A with respect to time, which I'm going to represent with A prime in this problem, as being zero feet per second. The rate of change of side B as time passes is 20 feet per second, and we're trying to figure out the rate of change of side B. All of the variables in this problem, the A, B, and C, can be related in an equation. We've already discussed that equation briefly, the Pythagorean theorem relates all of the variables in the problem. And we can represent the rate of change of each of those sides if we differentiate all parts of this equation, both sides of the equation, with respect to time. It will be an implicit differentiation with respect to t, with respect to time. The derivative of a squared with respect to time is 2a times the derivative of a with respect to time, the derivative of a with respect to time, which I'll represent as a prime. The derivative of b squared is 2b times the derivative of b with respect to time. And the derivative of c squared is 2c times the derivative of c with respect to time. Now, all of the values in this equation that represents the rates of time, that relates the rates of, of change with respect to time and the values of sides A, B, and C, 
all of the values involved in that derivative I've accounted for except for one, except for the one that I'm trying to find, the rate of change that side C is changing, aka the rate at which the boat is moving away from the lighthouse keeper herself from the top of the lighthouse. So I'm going to substitute all those values in at this point. 2 times A, which is 100, times A prime, which is 0. This term will be easy to compute. Plus 2 times 600 times B prime, which is 20. And this is equal to 2 times C, 100 root 37, times C prime. 2 times 100 times 0 is 0. 2 times 600 times 20 is 24,000. 2 times 100 root 37. Well, I'm going to leave that as 200 root 37 right now. My final answer, as described in the directions, should be rounded off to the nearest hundredth. But to, but to keep my answer as accurate as possible, I'll leave this as a radical in radical form as long as possible. To find the value of c prime now, all I have to do is divide both sides of this equation by 200 times the square root of 37. So that means c prime, the derivative of c with respect to time, is 24,000 divided by 200 root 37. And at this point, I'll go ahead and approximate 200 times the square root of 37 as I'm uh, dividing 24,000 by it and rounding it off to the nearest hundredth. I find that the rate of change of side C, C prime, is 19.73 feet per second.